do you know that the average salary of a java programmer in india is 4 lakhs per annum while the lowest is 1.4 lakhs per annum and the highest is 8.0 lakhs per annum with these numbers we can confidently say that java programming is an exciting field to explore with an expectation of a good salary package and you know what qualified java programming professionals are in demand as well and if you are also willing to put your efforts and time into developing your java programming skills and become a skillful person in this field you can explore this java programming specialization certificate program offered by duke university via coursera platform by spending just 20 hours per week you can complete this course in 5 months this is a beginner level course this course is instructed by susan h rodgard robert duval owen rastachan and andrew d hilton let's see further about this course java is one of the most advanced programming languages if software engineering is your passion this course would be the first step in your dream career This course will teach you the core programming concepts and you will be able to solve the problems with programs. You will learn to design programs and algorithms and also debug the code. The skills you will gain in this course are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Java programming, HTML5 algorithms, problem solving, strings, programming principles, hash table, data structure and cryptography. This professional certificate has five courses. The first one is Programming Foundations with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this course you will learn fundamental programming and to build a basic web page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. At the end of this course you will create a web page with filters for people to upload their images and use the filters. The second one is Java programming problem solving using software. You will learn the concepts like conditional and control statements in Java. You will learn to write programs and transform the data using open source classes. At the end of this course, you will create a program using CSV that is comma separated files that can be determined the popularity of baby names in US. The third one is Java programming array lists and structured data. In this course, you will learn about the data structures and how to use them for problem solving. At the end, you will learn to write an encryption program and a program to break the encryption. The fourth course is Java programming principles of software design. In this course you will learn to solve real world problems using classes and create programs that scale using Java interfaces. By the end you will learn to write a program that can analyze and sort the earthquake data and develop a predictive text generator. The last one is Java programming build a recommendation system. In this capstone you will learn to create recommender systems using Java programming skills. with data that includes movies books theaters and more you can also learn to write a program that can answer the queries about the data including the recommendations now let's see the four different enrollment options you have for this program if you want to learn for free you can choose the audit option which you will be able to find in the individual course page but you won't be able to get a course completion certificate and you won't be able to submit assignments or get grades for your work in this option Anyway you can pay for the one at any time during or after the course to get your certificate please note that this option will not be visible in the Duke University Java programming and software engineering fundamentals specialization certificate page the second one is you can simply purchase Duke University Java programming and software engineering fundamentals specialization certificate in Coursera which will give you the unlimited access to all the courses included in this specialization certificate and with this option you can earn a shareable certificate of completion from your university not that this option comes with a 14 day refund period and also has EMI payment option the third option is you can opt for Coursera plus monthly subscription this would be the best option if you want to access more than one course in Coursera Coursera Plus subscription will provide you with unlimited access to 7000 plus world class courses, hands on projects and job ready certificate programs from leading universities and companies. So with this option you can access not only this Duke University Java programming and software engineering fundamental specialization certificate but also many courses, projects, specializations, professional certificates that is available in Coursera and earn unlimited certificates. 
Last but not least, most courses in Coursera offer financial aid or scholarships, but these courses may not be available for certain courses. To receive Coursera financial aid or a scholarship, you have to fill out an application with details about educational background, professional aspirations, and financial situation, and ensure that you abide by Coursera's code of conduct and honor code. So these are the different enrollment options you can opt for the one which is suitable for you. Hope this program helps you in upgrading your skills and accelerate your career growth. Click on the link in the description and grab this Java Programming Specialization Certificate soon. Thank you.